Um, my name is Amy Segal and I work for the Colorado Division of Wildlife. I'm the Wildlife Conservation Coordinator out of the Montrose office and we're doing a genetic study on the Gunnison Prairie Dog here in the valley and also in other populations throughout the state. And the reason why we're doing this is to look at the amount of genetic variation within colonies and then how diverse these colonies may be from one another. And this gives us an idea of the population structure of the Gunnison Prairie Dog and how they may be moving across the landscape because we really lack information on that aspect of Gunnison Prairie Dog biology. Right now we have 40 traps set out. Um, within each trap we have marshmallows that we put peanut butter and jelly on. We also throw out grain. We kind of give them a little smorgasbord because every place we've trapped, the prairie dogs like things a little different. Some have really liked marshmallows, some have really liked peanut butter, so we just give them everything to choose from. And then once they we trap them, we um, bring them back to our processing table. We take an ear tissue for the genetic analysis, and we're also looking at fleas, the number of fleas that the prairie dogs are carrying and the species of fleas that the prairie dogs are carrying. That just gives us um, an idea of what flea species they're carrying because not all fleas carry plague and they carry plague in a different manner and just how um, what kind of flea load these prairie dogs are carrying because sometimes if you get really high flea loads you have a higher potential for plague so it's just giving us a kind of a baseline information on the the fleas that are occurring on the prairie dogs and then we as soon as they're recovered from the isoflooring we take them back and release them at the burrows there are a lot of other animals that can get inside, inside their snakes, badgers, burrowing owls, uh, um, raptors. So the, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting uh, the kind of construction work uh, that, that they can do. And you can see it's really not a destroying the whole the whole prairie here, um, and um, it kind of looks neat on the landscape. Uh, 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 it's a real working landscape for these uh, for these animals. One of the reasons that we're working on Gunnison prairie dogs right now is it is a species of concern for the Fish and Wildlife Service as well as the Division of Wildlife. Um, the major threat to prairie dogs is plague and prairie dogs are very susceptible to plague. Once they get plague, you can have up to 99% or 100% of the colony dying out because they have no resistance to the disease. Plague is a non-native disease that came to North America in the early 1900s and got to Colorado in about the 1930s. And that's the, the dominant reason that we're concerned about prairie dogs and how, um, how this is affecting their breeding and their, and their population structure. And we just really appreciate the opportunity to come to Telluride. We find this a very fascinating colony because it has just appeared in the last couple of years when the irrigation has stopped. You know, how did they get here? How are they related to other populations? And we think that this information will be invaluable as we work to conserve the species and manage it across the landscape. The Colorado Division of Wildlife is a state agency um, and we just like people understand that we work a lot in an advisory capacity. We have researchers who can, who can get on the ground like Amy and her crew and we're doing this sort of research all over the state for all kinds of animals. Um, and we have a lot more research capability uh, than, uh, than the federal government in some of these areas. And so we're working with the Fish and Wildlife Agencies uh, to, to do this, local communities communities. The other thing is that we don't really have any authority to say, you know, um, you can or can't do this on this piece of land. What we're, we are advisory, we, we, we do the studies, we put together the research, we bring the information uh, to a lot of other, uh, a lot of other agencies uh, in the state. And so, uh, just so people understand that we, you know, we don't dictate any work that can be done, but, but what we do is do the research and try to provide the good science that will uh, hopefully follow foster good management. There's some speculation that they, they're, they're sort of talking to each other and telling each other what's going on. Um, so they're, they're pretty smart, uh, they're pretty smart little critters. They have to be to live in this kind of environment. It's not an easy place to make a living if you're, a, if you're a, an animal. And so this research project We'll hopefully continue for the next three years and we're going to be sampling additional populations to give us a really clear idea of, of this species and the population structure in Colorado.